Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Kenny and we're going to be doing a gel material in Blender today. It's super simple, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. So this is the material we're going to be creating today. As you can see on the left, we have a little example of what it looks like moving. And on the right, we actually have a high resolution example, which I'm going to expand to show you guys. It's actually a 4K render. And I think it came out really clean. I just added some pipes in the background, nothing too crazy, but this is what we're going to be creating today. So let's go ahead and hop into the shader. All right, so we're in our scene here. I have some photo scanned assets in the background and for the floor. They're from Quixel, so I'm gonna go ahead and link that down below. Those were all free. I'm not gonna go through the scene setup necessarily. I just have a light source, a plane, and some objects. That's it. No HDRI, just a black background. I will go ahead and move around the scene so you guys can see what's going on here. So you can see our shaders right here. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this and I'm gonna get rid of the current shader and we're gonna rebuild it from scratch so I can show you guys exactly how to make this shader. So we have our object selected here. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new shader. The first thing I'm gonna add is a layer weight node. So I'm gonna go ahead here, layer weight. I'm gonna add in a translucent BSDF, just like that. And I'm gonna stack those on top of each other. And I'm gonna move them right over here, just like that. Now I'm gonna actually take those two, Shift D to duplicate. I'm actually gonna duplicate them and put them up here. Now I wanna add in a few mix shaders. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a mix shader and put it right there. And I'm actually gonna duplicate it and move it over here. Now we actually have all of the nodes we need. We just have to plug everything in and adjust some of the settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my material output over here. I'm gonna plug my final mix shader into the surface. And now this is where all of the things are gonna combine. Um, our layer weight, we're gonna plug our Fresnel into the FAC of the mix shader. And then our translucent BSDF, we're gonna plug that into the top shader input. Uh, this mix shader, we're actually gonna plug into the bottom of our mix shader. I'm gonna move everything over with G. I'm gonna make some more room for everything else. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna plug in our principled BSDF into the bottom shader slot, and then our translucent into the top shader spot. And then one last thing, we're gonna go ahead and plug our layer weight Fresnel into the FAC. Now, as you can see, we're already starting to get this translucent effect. We just have a few more things we have to do. So for our principal BSDF, we actually wanna go and turn transmission all the way up. As you can see, we're already getting that transmission effect. And then for the index of refraction, I'm gonna choose 1.1. That looks pretty good. Now let's go up here to our layer weight. For this layer weight, I'm gonna choose 0.3. And then for our top layer weight, I'm going to choose 0.8. And now, this is where you get to choose some colors. So this is the really fun part, where you get to really experiment. For our base color, I'm thinking for our transmission, we'll do some kind of a green. That looks pretty good. And then for our translucent BSDF, the one on the left here, I'm going to choose some sort of blue. That looks pretty good. And already you can sort of see how these things are mixing. And then for our top translucent BSDF, I'm actually going to choose a slight light blue just like that. I think that looks perfect. So guys, these are really all the nodes that you need. It's pretty simple. You can collapse this if you wanna make more room. That's totally fine. I'm keeping it open so I can see all the settings in here. But literally guys, this is all the nodes that you need. Let me go ahead and expand this so you guys can really see this. Super simple. You guys can customize this to your liking. Um, when you slide around the wear late, you'll notice that it completely changes the look. I personally think this looks really good. You guys can completely customize the colors and everything. This looks really awesome. There's just one last thing that I want you to do. I want you to expand this over here, and I want you to go into your light path settings. And I want you to bump up your total to 150, and then I want you to bump all these values up to 30. You don't really need volume, but I just bumped it up to 30. It doesn't really matter. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, and then you can go ahead and render. Uh, I'm not gonna go through any render settings, but um, I just turned on denoising in the compositor and I think I'm using 100 samples and it actually looks pretty good with just that. So you guys can bump up the sample count even higher if you want to. Um, that's really it, that's the shader. Um, it looks really cool and as you can see when you rotate it, you get a completely different effect from every angle um, and that layer weight really kicks in. It kind of gives you those nice edges with that nice bright light. And of course, if we adjust our color, I'll show you what happens. We adjust it to a nice purple. Now we still have this nice gradient feel, this really soft touch feel. So it kind of looks like silicon gel or maybe some sort of um, almost like a sea glass type of look. But I just thought this looked so cool, so I just had to make a quick tutorial on it. 
Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and go ahead and let me know what you would use this shader for. I just think it's so awesome, so I wanted to drop a quick tutorial on it. I really appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and please uh, go ahead and watch my previous videos if you guys want to learn more Blender tips and tricks and materials. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.